This is Stony Stone with Old Farts Fishing. Thanks for checking in and watching this video on how to prepare salmon eggs. We have a special treat with Ray Hereford on how to prepare salmon eggs. Not many guides will show you the tips and tricks behind the scenes, but Ray is going to give you a sneak peek. Check this video out. Here we go, folks. What I did is it's it's early in the morning we do this as kind of a ritual for salmon guys especially egg fishermen not many of us left out there this last couple of years because egg fishing has been really tough unless you've been at the barge hole up in redding so i guess it's redding i never go there but i've had these in the refrigerator for the last few days i've put all my cures on them that so i've brought i've already been laying them out here for about a half hour so you take them you you spread them out and this is if, if you guys want to be egg fishermen if you want to learn how to catch a lot of salmon fast you better learn how to fish eggs but the most important thing is you better learn how to get your eggs right you got to cure them up you got to get them right so this is uh you, you put your your cures on there and this has been sitting in the fridge for about three days and so they're nice and cold all that I filleted them out with a knife. Most people use scissors anymore. Uh, this one skein was a little bigger than others. So you need to air dry them. You, you, you got to give them a few hours of air drying or an hour. You can't, it can't be uh, sticky. It helps them. But everybody asks, oh, well, Procure, Pro, uh, a Procure, a Pro Glow, a Pro This. Well, this is, this is Borax, but it's procure borax it's it's not the store bought the mule team six or whatever that stuff was we used to use and uh you can use it several ways i like to just sprinkle it on there mine's got i've taken it and i've really made it fine i, I put it in a in a grinder and i grind it up this there's a big trick for you right there folks if you're gonna learn how to do eggs you better have a, a grinder a blender yeah, so but anyways you know i just like to to sprinkle it on there i used to roll it in it either way it just helps dry it out helps the, the skeins and the eggs stay together get tough enough but you definitely need it you know look at my board I, i've been doing a lot of eggs so you got to air dry it and you got to remember guys you got to have the right stuff in your eggs so we do a lot of krill Krill's good. We've always done a lot of krill. So, krill, 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 krill. So just so you know, I mean, we're helping you guys out. I'm not gonna be around forever. I mean, definitely getting older. It's been the, one of the toughest salmon seasons. Eggs haven't been working this year, guys. So, I mean, up in Redding, you can, but the rest of it, it just hasn't. Eggs haven't been your ticket. You want to use spinners, uh, Sac Metro, uh, uh, trolling. Uh, jigs have been really good. Uh, everybody knocks the Gibbs minnow, but a one ounce Gibbs minnow this year has been getting bit as much as anything I've seen. Uh, the eggs have probably been in last place. So, but we still do them. We still got to have some. The water, it's getting cold now. It's cold this morning. You, know, you come out early before you go and you, you air dry them. Then we're going to, you know, once they, they're pretty much air dried, so you take paper towel. There's a bunch of different ways, but I like to take them. Fold them back up the way they came out of the fish. That's only a half a skein, but, and then you just roll them up. We call them a burrito. Some guys fold them up in nice little neat squares and they stay really dry. But after you do this, after you, you, you cured them up, you put a little bit of borax on there and, and you roll them up. They have to sit in the refrigerator for two weeks. Don't touch those for two weeks. It, if you have to touch them and you have to go fishing before two weeks, you're got, man, there's got to be some other way. And you got to watch the refrigerators because the refrigerators will get these towels wet. The towels get wet. The the it'll mildew. It'll mold up on you. Uh, so you got to check them all the time. Make sure your towels aren't getting wet in your refrigerator. But uh, now a quick way to use them because it's pretty cold out right now. So you could take these, roll them up like this, stick them in a Ziploc bag. And leave them outside till it gets hot. I mean, it's 54 degrees right now. Leave them outside till it gets 70 degrees. Just leave them out, let them cook. Put them in the refrigerator. The next day, when it gets below 70 degrees, I like it 60, 
five and below, uh, really in the 50s, then you just leave them out. You leave them out for three or four days. You smell them, you watch them, you make sure they're not getting rotten. You learn your eggs, you gotta pay attention to your eggs, you learn them, and when you get done, you got them. They'll, they'll, they'll fish really well. And it, it, here's another trick. One of my guides found this out yesterday, or the day before. You take your eggs when you're done, you'll have leftover eggs. Just take a couple pieces, all the pike at the boat ramp, you throw your eggs in there. If that thing hits the bottom and doesn't get eaten before it hits the bottom, your eggs aren't any good. So if you throw it in there and the pike eat it before it hits the bottom, if it just lays down there and nothing eats it, you got really bad eggs. So that's like your test. So you throw it in there, it should get devoured. I mean, those fish should come up and eat it if you got the right bait. But anyways, there's your cured bait. I got pretty good bait, everybody knows that. So uh, that's a big helpful hint for you. Yeah, you get back to the boat ramp. There's a pretty, pretty nice little ball right there. You're gonna take that, flip that in the water, figure out. This is a screen. Under my screen, I got catches down here, boxes and that. But, and then in here, this is my mix for my, this is like you'll take, and there's your perfect bait ball. You, Put a little of this on it, toughens everything up. It has a lot of smell in it, krill, all that. It's ground down, it's fine too. Here's my bucket, I, I fillet my eggs out, I put my cures in there, you let it sit for an hour, put it in the fridge for three days and it comes back like that. Then you put your borax, you toughen it up, put it in the, the paper towels and you let it sit. So guys, there's, there's a big tip for you on eggs. So, I mean, they're really hard. Uh, everybody messes them up. Uh, if you don't have the right eggs and the right cures, you're, you're not going to catch any fish on them. So good luck fishing. we got uh, to get the boat ready, and we're going to head out here in a little bit. Thank you.